guys, I am Lily Pond, and this is hopefully going to be my first YouTube video to be uploaded to YouTube. I am going to teach you guys how to draw um, Tim Shop Timmy, and this is not going to be a full, this is how to color her also, this is just going to be a sketch, although I will shade in the sketch with you guys. So, first to start off, you draw a circle here for the head and just kind of light cross shape. I'll try to reference to it, although I don't usually reference to it myself very much. I just draw it out of habit. So now a little off, see, it, this is kind of right here next, just shoved a little, little ways away from this cross. It's kind of like a little rectangle, rectangular shape and keep it small and kind of shade it in and now that you've got that draw like an upside down three for her quiet little mouth and draw like a u shape coming out of it and just shade that in of course if you want to color this on your own that's fine i don't and now draw like an upside down U shape for the eye. Don't draw it super big, like don't draw it like this is a huge manga eye because actually you, I've seen most people just draw them dots, but I kind of like, since I do draw in manga usually, I kind of like to portray more uh, bigger eyes. And so draw a line connecting it at the bottom kind of curved. And I'm going to add little eyelashes. This is optional depending on what you want to do. Now you can draw her eyes just little like ovals, however big ovals, however you want, but I'm drawing her cross eyed so both of them are in the middle. And you just kind of shade that in, making it lighter towards the end. And then you draw eyelash eyes brows, just keep them normal, happy. Now draw two v-shaped lines upside down v-shapes connecting from each other from her forehead it, just above where these eyebrows start and these are going to be her bangs i'm drawing them slightly more realistically and anime like just draw them like a bunch of v-shapes coming from her head kind of getting longer and longer and now draw chubby cheek just chubby because that's timmy it's kind of, it's very round and adorable because isn't adorable the summary of Timmy? And shade that in. And now draw her ears. They're kind of like hooks and connect them from here. Have it connecting to nothing here, but connecting to the hair here. And then just draw this connecting from the hair to her cheek and draw a little line here just to show there's hair here. And now draw a little piece of hair connecting to the thing. You could have done that before, but I forgot about it. Now draw a little upside down V shapes for her kitty like ears and draw triangles in the middle of them, little triangles. And in the middle, in between these two things, draw just a tuft of hair because she has that signature tuft of hair now, between the tuft of hair and the ear, just draw a curved dish line connecting them. And from this ear here to here, draw a line. And make sure if you were to put a line through here, it would connect from this line to this line. And now, draw a line from here to her ear. Same thing with this thing. If you were to draw a line through, it would connect them. Now, just draw her little bob just in little jagged shapes and now just draw a couple of little swervy lines to make her neck and it has wrinkles in it because I'm drawing her with a um, turtleneck because a lot of the characters are drawn with turtlenecks because I, I don't know they just look cute I guess and now just draw a line going down just like a line. I know I've been having a lot of curves in this, but this is just a line. Except here, when you get to the cuff, you can have that there 
like going a little farther to make it appear like a wrinkle but you need to make that cuff and then draw a line up here for a chest and then do the same thing down here and then you can make more wrinkles in her sleeve if you want and just now you draw little U shapes for her paws and just draw a couple of curvish lines for her to, to indicate toes. Now just draw a curved shape for her back and when you get to the area where it's kind of even to these cuffs kind of just finish up her sweater and you can add more wrinkles if you want to make it look more um, complete and um, very comfy jackety. And now draw her butt. Sounds really awkward but just draw a little curve and draw this and just do a little upside down U shape and do a couple of paw marks. And now I'm turning her sideways for this just because it's more comfortable for me. But draw her little tail. And it's very little because I ran out of room, but you can draw it however you want. And now draw three little stripes because I've noticed a lot of people draw her with just three stripes in her shirt, and that's just how I'm drawing it. And now just shade stuff. Shade where it's darker, leave it blank where it's lighter. Doesn't really matter. Just shade it. And then kinda draw, just jagged stripe in her hair, I guess. And this is where you won't color it in because that is where the shine is. And just shade in her hair. It's gray anyway, so no matter what you did, it would be gray. And just shade it in. And now you can add shade if you want, extra shading if you want. That's like shading, shading. Although this is optional if you're not in a huge, I want lots of shading in my drawing mood. I'm kind of just doing them very quick. And this, of course, would be pretty dark, as with these. And there you go. Now you have your beautiful Timmy. Tim. And now I'm going to sign it. Please hold it. And L C B. Today's date is seven, I think, slash nine, right? Two thousand seventeen. So there you guys go. I would love it if you guys put in the comments your Timmy drawings you did based off of this tutorial. And you may suggest what a tutorial I, can, I should do next. Could be another Undertale character. Could be a random animal. Just tell me. Feel free to comment. I would love to see your guys' drawings. Thank you. Bye.